Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. My voice sounds different now. I got my nose plugged up with tissue because the wind's so bad. Blowing up dust in my nose. So I don't have a cold. That's, that's the problem. I measured out 15 inches here. This line, first line here, not the second line. That's where I'm going to cut that pipe because I'm going to work on my front end today. And uh, so I got to get this pipe cut off so I can get this situated inside the pipe there. And uh, I still don't know if I'm going to use this little front end or the the big bike front end. Uh, but I am going to use this extended uh, long version here. Pedals are already on there. I have to grind that if I'm going to keep that. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. But we will see. First, I got to get this pipe cut and then see what kind of degree this pipe gives me once I stick it in there and set it up on this one here. But I'm going to start with this one. If I don't like it, then I'll go to the. Uh, 20 inch BMX. So let me get started on that cutting. Chicken, it's already freaking afternoon and you're crowing. All right then, there we go. I got the pipe cut off. And not too bad for cutting a round pipe. It still looks kind of round. Now I just need to uh, put that inside of here. Get that nice on straight on there. Still got to grind that some more. So it fits in there a little bit smoother than that. But I'm getting there. Okay, this is just for visual. I want to see how it's going to sit. And it's got uh, pretty good clearance, if you ask me. Um, but I just want to, it's not the handlebars I'm going to use either. If I do it with that setup, I got about. Two and three quarters inch clearance. And I got about a foot clearance from the bottom here to the bottom of this gooseneck with that. And then uh, I got room to pedal too. The foot clearance is from the bottom of the uh, gooseneck to the top of the table. So to get a, a visual for myself. See, I can pedal still. And now I, I'll do a vision with the big tire, big boy tire. And uh, we'll see how it looks and we'll see which way I like better. Okay, that's with the big boy wheel, front wheel. And uh, 
from the bottom of the table to the bottom of the gooseneck it's a foot one foot and nine inches and the bottom of the table to the crank uh, case holding where the round thing is just bottom of that is nine inches so uh, I mean it's not too steep that's okay but I think I'm gonna go with the smaller front tire because I like it more level to sit on instead of leaning back uh, but I think those are the handlebars I'm going to use and the forks I'm going to use. i got to cut those forks still. Uh, Alright, so the back end isn't even bolted yet. All that stuff needs to be bolted and leveled and make sure it's straight. But right now I'm just concentrating on the front end now because that's the back end I'm going to keep. Forks before, forks after. This is what's going to go up inside the, the gooseneck here, like that. So I can put the front pedals in the front. This is going to be a before and after. I'm going to get rid of all this crap. Got this all grinded down. This used to be the fork. Got all that stuff grinded down. And this goes up inside the uh, gooseneck. Man, I keep forgetting. Don't grab pot pipes. But uh can't feel it through the gloves, but when it gets to that bare spot, that's when I feel it. Anyways, still trying to figure out how I'm going to mount it when this goes up into the gooseneck. And then that has to go to the uh, like this still gotta grind this stuff down alright I'm working on the front end and I'm trying to figure out how to bolt so what I'm gonna do is this there's some holes here on this forks and then there's holes on this foot peg and there's a screw every right there. So what I want to do here is uh, get a bolt. Oh, that's not big. Anyways, I'm gonna get a bolt, put it through here, put it through there and there, and then it, it'll come out on both sides. And then uh, run a bolt from underneath through where the sprocket goes through, and. Uh, can see that there's still plenty of room inside there if I can get this thing look down in there let's go out in the light here excuse me one moment okay I can't see in the viewfinder but there's still a lot of room to play with inside there so I got the bolt on a nut already and it's not hitting it's about a quarter of an inch so I'm gonna see if that uh, works that setup we'll see if we can Frankenstein it but I gotta see if I can borrow my neighbor's drill so I need a drill alrighty now been working on this for about five hours today I cut the pipe got that fitted in I got the front end set up uh, standing alone on its own. I sat on it, it supports my weight. That's a good thing, so I know the rear end will work. Uh, the problem I'm having right now is the front end. See, I extended it underneath the gooseneck so I could try to see what it looked like bolted up. Check out this turning radius. See how it dropped there? It dropped because this area down here, well actually because the the back end isn't bolted so it twists in the inside the pipes there. But 
check it out. See, it drops because that pipe right here is not bolted. Otherwise, turn it back. And then, uh, it's pretty cool. But I extended it, that thing right there, that's a foot peg. And at the bottom of that foot peg, there's some threads. And I put the bolt, like I showed in an earlier video, up through the, uh, the pedal crankcase there, because there's about a quarter of an inch space to where the pedals will still spin. And uh, so it's got a bolt going up through the bottom, screwed inside of that uh, foot peg. And then you got the bolts going through the side, going into the, uh, the uh, fork housing thing there. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, it still can come up some. Because this is weak. This has to be welded. See, if I raise it up, if I didn't extend it, this would be raised up. The pedals wouldn't hit the ground. Now they're just scraping. What they do is just scrape. So I can't use that extension. I'm going to have to figure something else out because the bottom of the fork right here is just right underneath this bolt. There's about a quarter of an inch below this bolt. And uh, this is too much. i got to figure something else out. But uh, I can roll on it and it turns, but the handlebars aren't. And that's another thing down there. That bolt that comes from the bottom of the pedal crankcase, it loosens when you turn. So, I mean, that's going to have to be welded. That can't be bolted. But, uh, that's how you move forward. you got to have failures. I don't have none of the rear end bolted in, so that twists every time, too. But it does hold my weight. And, uh, it's supporting itself without the brick. So... That's it for me to, uh, right now. I'm done for the day. I gotta go take a shower and get something to eat. I'm starving. So until next time, like it, comment, subscribe, and I'll get, get gone inside. <laughs>